guys welcome to digital youtube channel in this video we will review a tool called mail meteor this tool helps you send personalized mass emails at scale this tool helps you send anywhere between 500 to 2000 emails per day using your gmail account uh, we will review the tool how it works and what are the features so let's go into the computer screen now so we are now on my desktop so this is the mailmeteor.com website so let's start, uh, start by uh, talking about the price plans uh, in the free plans you can set 75 emails per day and they have limited features obviously so in their paid plans let us view all of their paid plans they have plans of monthly plans of about $10 per month yearly plans of about $50 per month and if you want to buy their lifetime plans uh, then you can get that them uh, at $200 so in $200 you will receive all their future plan updates and all their premium features for lifetime so depending on that you can choose what you what fits best for you uh, talking about the features so in the premium plan you get to send up to 2000 emails per day now to send 2000 emails per day you need to have premium google workspace account right so if you are just using a normal gmail account then you will be able to send up to 500 emails per day but if you have a dom company domain uh, gmail account then you will be able to send up to 2000 emails per day um, now other features that are there are that you can attach media files you can track the emails if they are uh, like if they are open your emails um, if they are clicked on any links on your uh, email you can also like send an email alias means that what is that so basically if you are registered yourself on mail material with one email id and but while sending an email you want to use some other emails uh, like some other email id so if you want to send emails with some other email id uh, this is where the email alias uh, feature comes into play uh, talking about schedule send uh, you can uh, schedule your emails uh, at a particular time and date email delivery uh, deliverability booster so it helps you to send uh, limited emails at a time and also helps you to keep a gap between each email so i will come to this later i will explain to you in more de uh, detail in a few minutes uh, import html templates so if you have any html templates um, created in a third party then you can just paste the code and you can send that email uh, to your recipient so that is what it is so talking about signing up so you can just sign in, sign in using your google account so as you can see this is the dashboard of mail meteor once i sign in uh, right so this is what the dashboard looks like so let's talk one thing at a time so in the left hand side you can see the campaigns so this is where you can create a campaign and send emails from apart from this you can also send emails uh, in the google sheet so i will talk about this in a later stage um, now to create a new campaign you just have to click here new campaign and from here you can choose who is going to the sender and here you can choose recipients you can import your csv file or copy paste the emails or you can just uh, connect with your google sheet and send emails so it's up to you here you can add the sub subject and your emails now talking about other things uh, on the right hand side you can see schedule send obviously you can uh, schedule your emails uh, on the track emails you can track the emails if they are subscribed to uh, if they are open your email or and other stuff uh, talking about unsubscribe link it's basically a link that you paste um, uh, in the footer section of your email so once a recipient clicked on it uh, the they go to this page uh, like this page you can see on my screen so they will go to this page that is created by mail meteor uh, and they can choose to unsubscribe you right i will talk about it in, about that in more detail so if you um, okay so talking about autopilot so uh, in the feature section i talk about email deliver, uh, deliverability booster right so this this is that feature what it does it you can send maximum emails per day suppose i want to send only 50 emails per day you just click on this option and just type in and if i want 
so some delay between each image that gets sent right suppose i want a delay of 10 seconds i'll just click on it so what it does is uh, it uh, avoid uh, getting your emails into the spam folder right so gmail does not think that you are spamming so it considers it has a natural flow of emails that are getting sent so this is very useful so this is very useful if you don't want your emails to go into the spam folder uh, now talking about the templates um, basically you create a template that is you that you can use uh, to send to uh, many peoples and you can use this template to, uh, for many email campaigns so this is the sample email campaign that i have created so as i am sending this sample email campaign to the people so if you talk if you are wondering what are these so these are just the variables that you use uh, from your spreadsheet um, to send personalized emails so if you want to send first name of this as a personal so you can use this uh, this uh, variable and if you want to use their personalized company names uh, so you can use this this should not be this uh, basically it should be this uh, like it should be this one uh, if it has company names you should type in the same thing here and make sure there is a space here here and it should be their space and yeah the same name you have to type in so you can use it for personalized purpose uh, now here i explain you about the in the campaign section i explain you about the let me go to the campaign section let me create a new campaign so in the campaign section i talk about unsubscribe link right so let me show you what that means in a template section so if you want people to uh, click on unsubscribe so some from uh, some country have strict laws so you should give an option to the person to unsubscribe from your email list so what you have to do is just type in any message that you want him to know that you can unsubscribe so i will just type click here to unsubscribe And what I will do is I will just click on this and go to the link here. I will add a link in the link section. What I will do is um, I will just type in this unsubscribe. So once you do that, what will happen is um, once you send an email, the person who is who is reading the email can click on this link and they will get directed to this uh, page. Uh, created by mail meteor where they can choose to unsubscribe from your email list now this is what the template section you can save this template that you can use to send mass emails to many of your email campaigns basically so now talking about the unsubscribe so just i told talk about like how to create an unsubscribe link so all those people that clicked on that link and choose to unsubscribe all those names all their email ids you can see over here so next time you send emails, um, you can just remove their email ID from your uh, email list. Yeah, so in the account section, basically, as you can see, I'm using a normal email account. So I can just send 500 emails per day. Uh, if you are using a company domain um, and paying for uh, to Google for premium uh, email service, then you can send up to 2000 emails per day. Um, then you can add your users um, they are partnered with many other SaaS products where you can find their email ID of the people you can verify the emails and you can warm up the emails and other services that if you want you can use them uh, so this is and uh, this is what the explanation of all the dashboard looks like um, make sure to install their uh, mail meteor plugin so I already installed over here so if you this email this mail meteor plugin is going to be very helpful into your uh, gmas compose section and in the uh, sheet section google sheet section so now this takes me to the google sheet section uh, where i'll give a live demo of and send some emails in front of you so this you can track this uh, installed extension you can track from the extension section you can see uh, you can track the reports, you can track your account and you can uh, send mails from here. So make sure that all the emails are in the first um, column and then you have all this person, uh, name, first name and depending on what information you want to keep in the sheet. So let's try sending an email. I will click on the mail, open mail meteor.
so as you can see the mail media has been now open uh, from here we can uh, see the sender's name so if you want to add uh, other senders as you can see i added here uh, another email that i can use to send emails from so this is what the feature of alias i was talking about so if you can use if you want to use another email that is not registered uh, you can use it talking about the template so i already created a template over here so i will just use over, use it but to show you how to create a template let me just create a template so what you do basically here is um, you can write in your subject like suppose i want to write free b2b leads for now here i just want to use a variable suppose what are the variables i want to use the company name so what i'll do is just copy and paste you here so what we'll do is it will personalize my email so for each individual uh, that his company name will get printed over here right so this uh, free b2b leads for uh, someone suppose google his company name is google so it will go there right free b2b leads for uh, spacex so that is how you personalize so you can also personalize the name so you can use this the first name so it will fetch the first name from your google sheet that's how you personalize the thing so you can type in all your message um, here all your message and suppose you want to uh, include uh, you know unsubscribe link so you can do it do it like this click here to unsubscribe and what you do is basically you'll just click over here uh, type in the in go to this go to the link section and type this unsubscribe so that's it if once you do that so what we'll do is once the user clicks on it he will redirect to it to a page like this uh, created by mail meteor and he can choose to unsubscribe so once you unsubscribe uh, you can track their list from here right on your dashboard so that's how you do it so this is just a sample so what you, uh, i will just choose the pre-made sample that i'm going to use to send the emails now um, this uh, that's it there are no other many important features over here so you can preview the emails from here before sending as you can see uh, hi team the company name is free tab ASH. so you can see it is changing right depending on the person's name is changing as we can see here i have customized over here in the name and also customize here the company name so you can see this so this is how uh, you can customize the emails and what i'll do is if i want to add it i can also add it over here and i will do is i have not included unsubscribe message so just let me type it so that's it so this is my email so all i have to do is save the template and just same but if you want to use another thing like autopilot i already explained this feature to you right what it does is you can just you know limit the number of email you want if you want to send only 30 emails you can do that if you want to have a delay if you want each email there should be a gap between each email so you can do that and you can just schedule it from here if you want or you can also schedule it from here right or you can just send it send the emails right now right the follow feature is coming up right now it's not live so it is going to come come in few uh, months so just click on here and you can see i'm just sent 21 emails are now going to get sent as you can see the emails are now being sent so that's how you do it uh, so as you can see the emails are scheduled so let me show you uh, another email campaign that I, uh, that I already sent so you can see once the emails are sent you will see that the status changes to email sent and if someone opens your email you can see the status changes to email open 
so this is um, what you can do is track all those things the status will change automatically so you don't have to do anything right now the emails are scheduled at certain time so they will get sent at that point of time um, now let me open the extension So as you can see, the emails are now scheduled uh, to be delivered at certain time, a point of time. So now let me show you a uh, data um, of uh, another email campaign where I already sent the emails. So you can see the emails are sent over here. And if someone clicks on opens your email, you can see uh, the status change to email opens. So that's how the status changes from here. So you don't have to do anything. In this tracking report, you can track all those uh, reports of your emails. Uh, so you can see the campaign is now scheduled. So there are no clicks or there are no open rates. So you can see uh, how many people have opened your emails, how many people have clicked on your or in, on any link on your, um, you know, clicked on your email how many people are unsubscribed from to your email so that's you how that's how you do it uh, so yeah that's pretty much of this uh, tool so one more feature that i would like to talk about is uh, html template that you can import right so basically suppose uh, this is just a basic um, html template creator third party tool that i'm trying to show you uh, suppose this is the tool that I'm using right now to so just give you an example Right, so I'm creating an HTML email uh, I'm not going to create many basic details. I'm just going to add so just I uh, posting this email. So I'm trying to create this and I will just type in here the what I will do is I will suppose I want to personalize the email, right? So I just type in hi and I will just type in first name and I will type in my message, right? So this is the HTML email that I create. So you can design as per your wish, but you can also personalize this email and send personalized HTML email, but make sure to include the variables that are available into your Google sheet, right? So just, this is the third party tool I use. So I'll just export it now. Um, I'll just type in the email so i'll just type in so i got the code of the html so i'll just copy paste this code right what i'll do is now when once i create a template uh, now let me show you how to send html image so i'll just click on the extension and go to the mail meteor and I will click on create a new template so what you have to do basically is you have to type in your subject normally you do free b2b tweets and all you have to do is type in the code so what you have to do is to send html code you have to type click on here you can see this arrow and you just paste that code uh, over here once you paste this code um just save the template now you can preview the emails you can see in the preview email you can see the the uh, we customize this name team so it will change as per the email id and this is the this is your html email. so this is how you send the html emails uh, so i hope you understand if you have any doubt about html emails so just comment down below and we'll talk about and you can also see the mobile preview over here how your html uh, will look like you can also edit it so but yeah that's that that you can do So that's uh, that's the major features that I explained about the app. So they are constantly adding new features uh, in this uh, app. But I think this is a great uh, tool that you can try uh, to send mass emails. So I hope you like this video. Now do subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't.